Well, guys, my meat birds are here. I'm so excited I get called at 8.30 this morning to let me know that they were in. I threw their food on the floor so that they'd peck at that and then eventually go to the tray, which they're doing. And they found the water, which I'm real happy about. I had a little water water container to go in here but I couldn't get the top off so I just threw in the um, winter one that the heated one till my husband gets home and see if he can get that top off of that stupid water anyway there's my girls and boys my meat birds and they'll be in here three maybe four weeks and then we'll put them outside Anyway, I'm going to turn the little heat lamp back on. If I can find the little hook. Alright, and they all survived. And tomorrow I'll check their little butts. Make sure they're all nice and clean. But they're moving around and active, so... That's definitely a good sign. Well, guys, it's a couple days later. As a matter of fact, I got last Thursday and today's Tuesday. And we put down some, um, oh man, shavings for them because we noticed we had the blue paper, which is, um, I recommend when you first get them, it's like the workshop paper towels, but they're real heavy. And we put that down with a little feet on it so they find their feet and that worked great. Now, as you can see, we still have it on, but we have shavings on top of it. It just makes cleanup a lot easier. We just roll it up. Put new uh, paper towels down and put the shavings on top of it. Makes it really easy to clean. No scrubbing, no nothing. Plus, it stops them from eating their poop, which we found out they will do. But anyway, here you go. These are doing good. I was so scared after losing two of them. I just didn't want to lose any more. I talked to my friend Debbie, who did this for years, and she said that's normal. They, it can be caused by stress. They could have got... Um, you know stepped on in the crate on their way there but I do clean their water out twice a day because I notice they get a lot of the shavings in it same with their feed but they're doing really really good and I have like I said the heat lamp I have it turned off right now because I was talking to you guys let me turn it back on there we go and we've been raising it a little bit each day because we're getting re them ready to go outside so this week will mean getting their coop ready for them but they're doing really good and I'll bring you back as the progress goes see you on the next video guys bye I forgot to mention um we had a problem regulating the heat because is here where we're at it's chilly during the day in the mornings early mornings like at 6 a.m. But it gets really hot in the afternoon, so I had a problem regulating the heat. So what we did was, we put this board on here. That way they have that nice shade. So if they get too hot, they can go under there to get away from the light. And then also, of course, it's a little cool over here. So they have a range of temperatures that they can go from really warm, to slightly warm, to really cool. And that seemed to work out really well. So... When we do them again, I think I'm going to do the same thing. As you can see, a lot of them are going over there in that corner. See? They're going over there after they eat and stuff and get a drink. Anyway, just thought I'd let you know about that little tip, I guess, that we did.